What's up, folks? Um, it's cold. It's raining like hell. Um, not gonna lie to you. I've been trying to kind of steer clear of watching all the hypocrites because I just don't like hypocrites. I can't stand hypocritical sons of bitches. I can't stand the fact that the rest of the country or the rest of the world actually is laughing at us. Um, and, and I'm actually going to go into detail here and I'm actually going to show you exactly how the rest of the world is laughing at us and why. We went from having a businessman running this country who the rest of the world actually feared. They feared Donald Trump and they had good reason to. The man had brains and he had nuts. Between his brains and his nuts, he was a serious threat to not only our establishment, but to the dictators around the world who want to destroy the United States. But let's watch. Physical as well as my mental fitness. And I want to see them too, if we're young ladies. I want to see them dancing when they're four years older too. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to we this, man. We know you like them young. You walk behind me in a debate. Come here, man. What the hell does that mean? Should people want to make a change though. Well, that's up to them to decide. Why should they? It's for them to decide. We'll make your case. For them to I'm decide. Not I'm not we can't to. rebuild our economy and meet this climate crisis, exacerbating the need for environmental, <laughs> for environmental justice. Sorry, as a bug. What the fuck Speaking are you of the environment. We need to work again with Canada and Mexico as neighbors, not as adversaries. As adversaries. Adversaries. Donald <laughs> Trump does pose an excellent threat to this. The, it's not hypothetical. Oh, There's things that are worth up. dealing with China. It's tough on. That makes it far more durable, reliable, and powerful. And partnerships built on cohesion, uh, excuse me, coercion. Because if you could take care of a quartermaster, you can sure in health take care of running a, you know, a department store uh, thing, you know, where in the second floor oh, of the ladies' it, department. I don't know. You know what I mean? <laughs> what makes his wild claims and hopes he now hopes we don't notice what he said. By American Trump's been saying that for years. And when he does follow through, or doesn't do, when follow through, the exact opposite. 1.2 billion. So you go ahead and you stack spaghetti sauce at a store and in, in, in a supermarket. You control the guy or the woman who runs the run brings out the carts on on on, on a forklift. What happened? The way Trump, the way China will respond is when we gather the rest of the world that in fact believes in, in, free, in, in, in open trade and making sure that we're in a position it's, it's, it's that, the world, uh, that, that we deal with WHO that, 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 the right way. Spit it out. That, that in fact, that's when things begin to change. <laughs> I, uh, you know, I, I, I looked at it anyway. I, that's what I think my plan, I know what my plan does. Senator John, I mean, no, no, but I mean, think of, I mean, it's not about, I, I know you're supporting by saying booing, but look, here's the deal. This is our leader. And I had a nurse at, at uh, nurses at uh, Walter Reed Hospital who would bend down and whisper in my ear. Wow. And go home and get me pillows. They would make sure they'd actually, probably nothing ever taught in, uh, you go can't do it in the COVID pillows, time. They, the they'd hospital. actually breathe in my nostrils <laughs> to make me move to get get me moving <laughs> what the fuck like an animal somebody else sick I want to sick ask what with this guy well the only thing we can do about it is be prepared we have a whole group of lawyers who are going out to every polling every uh, uh voter registration physician in the states the secretaries of state making sure that they in fact have a game plan as to how they're going to allow the voting to take place but you know in the 2020 census which is now Two censuses ago, soon to be. Two months 200 ago. million people have died. Probably by the time I finish God this talk. Damn, we lost fucking two thousand. Unnecessarily, of the now we have over 120 million dead from COVID. That's why I made it a priority Man, in my fuck? entire career to work closely with you. From the time I got to the Senate 180 years ago, <laughs> you know, as well as my tenure as vice ago. president. Seventy days, seven, seven days, seven. United States Constitution. <laughs> this is our leader. Holy shit! Welcome to Kingswood Community Center. Actually, that's the one down I used to work. It's a joke. 
You know where we were. Anyway, the welcome hey, is that to the nation's Joe? Constitution Center. I had the great privilege of being a uh, guest leader of this outfit for a year. Somebody gave <coughs> this man it's a hostage It's an appropriate place to make what the, fuck? the speech I'm about to make. <laughs> great. God, love it. How are you? Hey, everyone. I'm Jill Biden's husband. <coughs> But the truth is, she's the strongest person I know. She's a backbone like a ramrod. That's the kind like of first lady, 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 this Jill Biden will be. God love you. I, I, I know you're trying to goad me, but I mean, I'm so forward looking to have an opportunity to sit with the president or stand with the president in debates. So I couldn't tell anybody Barack, but Barack. Don't have here in Miami, in Miami, in Florida. You don't have a here, and that is if you keep this babbling son of a bitch. All right, folks. Okay, this is the reason the rest of the world is laughing at us. Do you not see the idiot that we have put in the White House? Yes, he's an idiot. Yes, he's a bumbling idiot. Yes, he can't get out a complete sentence if the man doesn't have a teleprompter or a scripted. Um, notes in front of him. He can't talk. He's been in politics for almost 50 years. Um, I started making and talking like fucking six months ago, a year. Hell, I don't even know. But I can put my thoughts together. I can actually recall shit. I can actually remember my history. And I can actually come on and give a viable conversation, whereas this idiot cannot talk. And I hate to be that way because I know he's old. The some bitch is a senior citizen. I got it. I understand. But when you put yourself in that public square, you need to be able to perform. The fact is, we've got fucking this idiot running our country. The rest of the world's looking at him. And do you think that China is not re like Joe said, China? They can't eat our lunch. Well, you, do you think the rest of the world is not looking at this idiot getting ready to pounce on the United States? I would be. Hell, if I was some dictator over in China or Russia or anywhere else, hell, I'd be looking at the United States saying, this is the time. This is the time to pounce. This is the time to call this son, son of a bitch's bluff. The fact is, Joe Biden has done nothing for this country in 50 years. Since he has been elected president, he has acted like a dictator. He has signed 56 executive orders that have done nothing but destroyed American jobs, took American tax dollars that are going to be taken from us to support things like the World Health Organization, the Paris Climate Accord, things that have never done the United States of America any good. The World Health Organization answers to China. They are at China's beckoning call. And this son of a bitch just put our money back into it. Um, the fuel prices will go up. Once the fuel prices go up, because he's shut down the energy sector, sector. Once the fuel prices go up, every single good in every store will go up. Stores will not be able to remain in business. And then he's talking about making a $15 an hour minimum wage. Guess what, folks? He makes a fifteen dollar minimum, uh, fifteen dollar an hour minimum wage. We'll be going to Burger King and McDonald's and places like that, and they will have vending machines set up. They will not pay fifteen dollars an hour. More and more people with low skills will be out of work than ever before. We've already got eleven million Americans out of work. We've got soldiers living in the street, dying in the street, and what are we doing? We're making people who are not. United States citizens priority over our military vets that have went and fought for this country, that have given up their lives, that have given up their sanity in some cases, and they can't get this treatment. They can't get put up in hotels. They can't get houses given to them. They don't get monthly allowances, but we're going to do this for other people. This is a scourge on the United States. We're going to look back at what happened. And we're going to look back at how it happened. More and more evidence is coming out about all the stuff that everywhere from big media to uh, fake tech, uh, uh, big tech, fake media, all these places that just out and out lied and prevented the truth from being told to get this son bitch elected.